Hi everyone. This video is going to be about how to approach the week one journal assignment. It's really important that you do the week one journal assignment so that you can learn as much as possible in this class and also so that you can maintain your um, successful movement in the course, successful progression. So this is your class. You'll log in and you'll scroll down to week one. You can open the journal activity for week one and it will take you to this page. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is read section 1.4 of your textbook. So we'll be talking about development of a growth mindset in this uh, journal activity. Now you can read the first paragraph, but I wanna focus on the second paragraph. So to prepare for this journal, take the following eight question mindset assessment. If you hover over this, and right click and open a new tab, or you can just click on this link, it will take you to a mindset survey tool. We'll come back to this in a second. So you need to do this eight question mindset assessment. No one will see the results, so make sure that you answer the questions honestly. Um, it will give you more insight into yourself if you answer the questions honestly. Don't try to answer them for your teacher or what you think other people uh, want you to do. All right. Then, after answering the mindset assessment, review the article 25 Ways to Develop a Growth Mindset. So I'm gonna open that and we'll get to that later. All right, let's stop. So these are the first two things we need to do. Complete the mindset assessment and review the 25 ways to develop a growth mindset. Also remember, you should have read section 1.4. Okay, so let's talk about the mindset assessment. When you open it, you will be taken to this page. All right, so scroll down and read the instructions here, and then click Get Started. Again, read the instructions. It's an eight question survey. Answer again honestly. So for example, no matter how much intelligence you have, you can always change it a good deal. I agree with that statement. I think that uh, people can develop their intelligence over time. You can change it. You can also hurt your intelligence, for example, by doing drugs or things that are harmful to your, to your mind and your brain, uh, you can also harm your intelligence. You can also harm your intelligence by not pushing yourself, um, by not engaging in activities that you could complete. Anyway, apart from that, answer these questions um, as you uh, agree or disagree with them. Do you disagree a lot, disagree, disagree a little, agree a little, agree, or agree a lot? Okay, once you've filled out all of the eight questions, uh, click submit and get feedback. Now, it will ask you for your email, your first name, your last name, and your school. So I'm gonna enter that now, and you need to enter it to use your preferred email address. Once you've filled out all of the information, click send. Okay, your assessment has been sent to the email, the preferred email that you put in there. So now it's time to check your email. All right, so I'm in my email. Now this is a really important step and this is part of the reason why I'm making this video. You'll see that I don't have anything from the mindset assessment. If you don't have anything in your inbox, check your, first check your clutter folder if you're using Outlook, or if you're in Gmail, you can check, uh, or whatever your preferred email is. All right, I don't see anything here. If it's not in your clutter, check your junk email down here to the left. Ah, here it is. Okay, so. It sent it to my junk email. So if you have any trouble getting that email, check your clutter, your junk, or any other junk folder that you have. Um, you can move that email to your inbox or you can just open it here. All right, so I've opened my email. It shows all of my answers, or all of the questions, and it tells me about my mindset. So right now you're unsure about whether you can develop your intelligence. You probably care about performing well and, and you do what 
you do want to learn, but you may not want to have to work too hard for it. You may feel a bit discouraged. Okay, so this read through your evaluation. And then if you'd like to know more, you can visit the links below. Um, but the main thing is that you read your evaluation. All right, so I've read my evaluation and I've learned more about my mindset. Now remember, always, always keep going back to the prompt, review. It might take a while for all of this stuff to sink in. Repetition is key. So what did it ask me to do? It asked me to take my mindset activity. I did that. Um, save my assessment results. Well, if I have that email, there's a couple ways to save it. I can highlight this. and then push control C, or you can right click and choose copy. And I can put that into a Word document. So I have my Word document open. Uh, I have everything copied, I push control V and notice everything pops in. Or if you want, you can right click on your mouse and paste using the paste options. So now I have my assessment results. I can then save it, file, save, and it will allow you, when you click browse, it will allow you to save the file to your computer in the appropriate place. If you're unfamiliar with Word, it would be good to save your file to the desktop. That way it will appear as a little image icon right on the screen of your computer when you open it. But again, that's up to you where you wanna save it. All right, so I've saved uh, my assessment results. All right, now I need to review the 25 ways to develop a growth mindset. If I click on it, I'm taken to this article, 25 ways to develop a growth mindset. I scroll down and I can read this. And you should read this. Remember, the more effort you put into this, the more you'll learn. Uh, take the view that, uh, you know, you're, you're coming to college, right? The whole goal is learning. So if you're already thinking of these things as hoops to jump through, try to change that mindset and really focus in on this as a learning experience because, um, you know, you're really going to need to focus on college as learning in order to motivate yourself uh, through all the ups and downs that are going to occur as you're attempting to complete your academic journey. All right, so 25 ways. Acknowledge and embrace imperfections. Hiding from your weaknesses means you'll never overcome them. So what does it mean for me to embrace my imperfections? It's really hard for us, right? To admit when we're like not good at something or when we fail or whatever, but we have to learn to embrace that. The only way that we can get better at things is by trying. And if you, if you quit after trying a few times, you'll never master anything. So anyway, Read through these and think about them and think about what aligns with you and what doesn't in terms of your own perspective. Okay, so what have I done so far? I've read section 1.4 of my reading. I've filled out my mindset assessment and I've saved it and I've read through 25 ways to develop a growth mindset. What do I do next? To complete your journal, download the mindset journal reflection template. Okay. Click on this link and you'll see a little download down here in the bottom. Once it goes from gray to a, a full color, you can double click it and you'll open your template. So if you double click that little download, it will open the mindset template. Now, if you're using a more contemporary version of Word, it will lock the screen like this. Um, depending on the type of antivirus program you have. If you have this, just click Enable Editing at the top, and now you'll be able to fill out this document. Remember, save the document to a place where you can find it on your computer. To save the document, click File, Save, Browse, and it will allow you to browse the place where you want to save the document. Okay. 
So again, we got to bounce back and forth. So I have to respond to each section of this. I need to save it to my computer and upload it to Waypoint. Okay, so what do I do? Well, let's look at the template. The first thing, notice that the journal has two parts. First, part one, you'll have to respond thoroughly and honestly to each of the prompts below. And you can type right underneath it, right like that. So there are uh, three questions in part one. In part two, you are going to replace negative phrases with positive phrases. But let's focus on part one. Okay, this relates to the mindset assessment. So remember, we've saved our mindset assessment. I have it here, um, and I can read this again to remind myself what my mindset might be. Describe how you felt when you read through your results. Were you surprised? Did you agree? Why or why not? So here I might say, I agree somewhat with my assessment. It's difficult for me uh, to work on things that I am not interested in. Dot, 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 dot. It's difficult for me to work on things I'm not interested in, uh, but I realize that I need to be able to do that, um, not only so that I can develop my mind and learn new things, but also because life is full of obstacles and things that we don't wanna do that we have to do. And in learning how to do this, hopefully I'll be able to translate it to my life at large. So just reflect on it. Did you agree or disagree? Why or why not? And use examples. So write that out. Okay, next thing. Choose three strategies from the 25 ways to develop a growth mindset article and explain how you will use each strategy in your academic, personal, or professional life to help you develop a growth mindset. All right, so remember, the 25 ways is a link in the prompt. We have it open here. So we talked about one of them. Acknowledge and embrace imperfections. Okay, so let's just do that one. I like that one because I have tons of imperfections. All right, so uh, I, would, I would write, uh, you know, acknowledge and embrace, you know, write down the, the strategy first. Uh, and you can copy paste it if you want and then write about it and explain how you'll use it. Okay, so I am not a good writer. It is really intimidating for me to try to write. I had a bad experience with my teacher in third grade where I was humiliated in front of the class and, or I had, I, I've always struggled with uh, translating my thoughts onto paper in a way that's clear and concise. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna go to the writing center. I'm gonna, if I'm at work and I have to send emails, I'm gonna use Grammarly to determine whether or not um, I've made any mistakes. And I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna study sentence structures and things that, that I need in order to understand how to write better. Uh, so I'm gonna use it at work in my emails. I'm gonna study for my Ashford course and I'm gonna ask my professor to provide feedback on my writing and look at feedback in the assignments so that I can uh, learn more about my writing and become a better writer. All right, so choose three strategies and then explain like that, each one. Finally, explain what you learned about how a growth mindset can help you learn. Okay, so if we go back, um, if you look at these, uh, you can use the 25 uh, ways to develop a growth mindset. You can also uh, look at section 1.4 of your reading and think about how it is uh, what you learned about a growth mindset can help you to learn. So one thing that learning about a growth mindset is that our brain is not a static thing. Instead, it's very elastic it can grow, it can develop, just like a muscle when you're like lifting weights, right? You wanna work the biceps, you use heavier and heavier weights. But you don't use 100 pound weights because you'd end up hurting yourself. And you don't use five pound weights because um, that's not gonna do anything either. So you find a weight that's just hard enough for you to do like five to 10 reps. And then once you get stronger, you, you make the weight heavier, right? It's the same with our brains. You know, 
maybe we start reading by like reading things like Harry Potter or Stephen King or something like that. But then we're going to move up, right? We're going to read like, um, like uh, Henry Miller or, or um, maybe even Shakespeare. Maybe Shakespeare's at the end and we have to work our way up to that level of difficulty. So if we think of our brains that way as a muscle, then how can that help me learn? It can help me learn because I know what I need to do to make my brain a little bit stronger every single day to develop my mind and my intellect. Okay, so that's just one idea. But as you read about growth mindset and as you look at the 25 ways, you'll learn more. And just don't overthink this last part. Just free flow it. What you now know about growth mindset, how are you going to use it? And how's it going to help you learn? Okay, so that's part one. So let's reset. You've completed part one, you've learned about yourself and you've learned about that you're gonna be awesome and your brain's gonna develop and that you're gonna have like a hugely muscular brain at the end of your academic career. Every single day your brain's gonna grow, every single day you're gonna uh, get stronger and you're gonna overcome all of these obstacles that are in your way um, to develop your maximum potential. All right, so in the second part, you, on the left-hand side, you'll see a bunch of uh, negative statements and what you have to do is right in here, in these slots, uh, reframe the language in a positive way. So first, this stuff is too hard, I'm not gonna pass the test. Don't ever say that to yourself, right? Uh, the test is hard, but if I get help and study, I can pass the test. Positive reframing. So this is all about that internal negative dialogue, that bad conscience that tells you you can't do it. You have to learn how to fight that. It's extremely important in all aspects of your life. So uh, I'm going to be a dad soon, right? And this is a real example. And in my head, it's like, oh, what, you're going to screw up. Like, what if, what if um, she doesn't love you? Or what if you mess up as a father? And what if it leads to her negative? Out? And it's just like, stop. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my best. And I will mess up. And when I do mess up, I'm going to apologize, right? So, all right, I got a terrible grade. The teacher must hate me. All right, how can we reframe this? Um, I got a grade uh, I didn't expect and I am going to work harder in the future and read the feedback from the instructor to do better next time. Or maybe you say, I got a, I got a terrible grade. I'm going to, and I'm going to reach out to the instructor to see what I could do better next time, or maybe to see if I can revise my work, right? This assignment is impossible. This assignment is difficult, but I can do it with persistence. All right. So here, that's a couple of examples. So what you're going to do in the second part is take an original negative statement and reframe it. All right, the next part is optional. In this part, you uh, are encouraged to keep a log of all the negative self-talk that you have and how you're gonna reframe it. So for example, right now you might be thinking, man, this course is confusing, right? Or like the layout of the course itself because you're in a new environment, right? You're new to this. A way to frame that though is, this course is confusing now, but in three weeks, I will be a master of navigation or something. Of na and you will be, and he, probably even by the end of the week, you'll be able to navigate the course, you'll see the structure, and, and just to let you know, future courses will have this very similar structure um, where you have all the weeks here, all the assignments in a row, and you just work directly through them each week uh, to succeed. Okay, so, so basically, that's what I do. I fill out the three parts here. I um, reframe negative self-talk or negative language into a positive growth mindset view. And then the last part's optional. So if, if you're strapped for time, don't worry about it at this point, but keep it and, and maybe use it in the future as you take future courses. Make sure that you file, save, that you save this document to a place where you know where it is. And actually while you're filling it out, 
Keep clicking this save icon after you save it originally. Um, keep saving your document because if your computer shuts off or something else, you might lose all of the work that you have. But if you keep saving it after everything that you write when you're taking a break, then you'll have it and you won't lose it if your computer shuts down or if you lose uh, some internet connectivity or something. Okay, so what do we do now? All right, what we have to do is upload, upload this paper to Waypoint. So after you upload your paper to Waypoint, go back in and make sure that your paper was submitted correctly. Sometimes students accidentally submit blank documents. Sometimes they choose the wrong documents on their computer. All right, we're almost done here. <clears throat> If you have a question about how to save, this explanation is here. I've also shown you how to do it a couple ways in the video. There's also a help now video if you need help downloading the template, downloading a document. I've also shown you how to do that, um, at least with the Word, with Office 365. If you don't have Office 365, please look at this FAQ. All Ashford students have access to Office 365 as part of being um, a student, which will give you uh, the Microsoft suite. So here's a video of how to get started with Office 365. Download all of these programs and use them. They'll be extremely invaluable for you uh, throughout your career as a student. This is the late policy. Uh, assignments are accepted up to three days late with a 10% per day penalty. But again, now that you have all of this information, just knock out this assignment right now and engage in the learning. There's also an assignment tips video here in Support You. It's more of a general analysis of how this, how journal activities and reflection on them have an impact on your learning and growth. And there's a writing help. This will link you to the writing resources that we offer at Ashford. This is a video of an introduction to Waypoint. Waypoint is the system where you will upload your paper, your faculty will grade in Waypoint and provide feedback to you. So here's a video about an introduction and also this gray box, which is in every single assignment at Ashford, tells you in a step-by-step -step fashion how to submit to Waypoint and you will submit down here. Um, so you'll submit your assignment when you're ready to go. All right. I know that that's a lot of information, but I hope that you find this video helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your instructor.